the Toro Time Master, pretty much in a class on its own with very few contenders. This now $1,500 mower can still get through backyard gates and supposedly reduce your mowing time by as much as 40%. Mm. Does it though? I see so many people obsess over buying these year after year. And I get it, I've been in those shoes before. What really blows my mind is that with all the issues surrounding this machine, nobody's really talking about them. Hey man, if you don't say anything, I won't say anything either. Works for me, bruh. Had I previously known these issues, I probably would have went another route. I'm about to go over six major issues with this mower to help you make an educated purchase. And stay tuned to the very end when I go over the number one tool that many Toro Time Master owners are keeping in their garage. Time to get brutally honest. Hey guys and gals, welcome to Garage Gear, I'm JB, giving you the best tips and tricks to survive life in and out of the garage. And before we get rolling, if you're feeling the vibe and you wanna be part of the tribe, subscribe. Here's the six things that Toro Time Master owners aren't telling you about. I have had my Toro Time Master for almost four years now, and I've racked up almost 100 hours on it. I've seen a thing or two on this machine, and the first thing to go on my machine was the drag flap. My first one had about 25 hours on it and it got totally shredded by the blade. I bought an OEM replacement only to have the same thing happen five hours later. I decided to make a DIY flap out of some old John Deere rubber flaps. I even made some videos on this issue in the past and I'll have these flaps and those videos linked down below in the description. Given that the flap is a safety device, preventing things like rocks and other things from hitting your feet, you think that Toro would say something like, maybe we should look into this. Nope, they just keep cranking out junk flaps. I have a 10,000 square foot lawn. If I mow straight through nonstop for 40 to 45 minutes, this Toro Time Master will be running out of gas on its last pass. This sucker drinks it. So I would fill up before mowing the front yard and then again before mowing the back. Okay, Toro, does it sound like we're mastering our time here if we have to stop halfway and refuel after mowing just 5,000 square feet? This mower absolutely needed a bigger gas tank, so I decided to rig up my own gas tank. Now, Toro does make a commercial one gallon gas gas tank, but it was nearly double the cost of the one that I put on. Now I can mow for nearly two and a half hours without stopping. Did a video on this DIY gas tank too, and I'll have that video linked down below in the description. I'm just gonna come out and say it. These 223cc and the previous underpowered 190cc engines aren't holding up. Even with decent maintenance, these machines are failing. A lot of owners are mounting similar CC Honda, Kohler, or Kawasaki engines to these mowers just after a couple of years. But if these mowers are so great, why would you need a new engine? Hmm. These Time Masters run about $1,500 nowadays. And if you throw on another $500 plus engine on it, that starts to push you into commercial mower price points. If that's the case, wouldn't it make sense just to buy a commercial mower in the first place then? And get a better engine from the get-go? And when you start adding up all these issues, do you really want to spend all the time, energy, and several hundred dollars mounting a new engine? Ay yay ay, come on, Toro. Side note, this engine has needed all of its mounting bolts tightened three times in the last 100 hours. This engine has physically shaken itself loose over the last 100 hours and I had to get underneath it three times to tighten them up. This same situation happened to another mower of mine after 20 years. Time out. If you appreciate honest reviews like this, would you mind taking a super quick second to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm? Thanks. Well, if the engine doesn't go, these will. Belts wear out on just about any machine, but you wouldn't expect these pulleys to go so fast. Thin metal ends surrounding a soft plastic center and a non-replaceable bearing. Why does that sound like an Oreo for Colossus? Upgraded pulleys are heavier duty, but will cost you a pretty penny. Do not expect OEM pulleys to last you long term. And they are definitely a weak link on this machine. A bigger machine takes more to move it. And after a few years, these transmissions are struggling to do so. One Time Master owner that I know replaced two of these transmissions in just five years. Ouch! Some owners out there are replacing these transmissions with the commercial version, which has a bigger pulley wheel on the top. But they're finding that they're running into speed adjustment issues. What really strains these transmissions the most is mowing uphill and hauling a striping kit. Uh-oh. Sounds like those wide stripes are gonna cost me. And if you have a very hilly yard, you might want to consider looking at some other other models. This is one issue that does seem to get talked about. And over the years, the Time Master has earned the name 
the Clogmaster. Toro states that the dual force cutting system and the Toro Atomic Blades cut grass into a fine mulch for a superior quality of cut and a healthy lush lawn. This is true for the first few passes. After that, Toro says you're on your own. Well, what exactly causes this? Well, if there is so much as a single drop of water on your lawn, this machine will find it. But here's the catch. You can have a dry lawn, obey the one-third cutting rule, mow every three to four days, raise up the deck, ceramic coat it, graphite coat it, what? Ever, you will still clog up. This mower deck does not have a good mulching design. Or should I say, recycling design. It's not a super recycler by any means, which somebody told me it was. And the shape here is not ideal for sending grass back into the lawn because it almost forms a perfect 90 degree angle. Some more curves inside the deck would probably help with this. Eventually, grass builds up so much here that it starts to surround the blade. You'll know when it happens too because this machine starts making this very high pitched whirring noise as it starts to hit all that compacted grass. And then you can feel it too because this machine becomes very heavy to push. You might say, well, okay, bag it. Doesn't matter. Grass will make it to the bag, but a lot of grass will still be clumping up underneath this thing. Well, then you might say, well, what about side discharge? This does help to a degree, but getting grass from one side of the machine all the way to the other is a task for it. You'll still get clumping even with the side discharge. Eventually, the clumps underneath will fall off and the side discharge will barf them out onto your lawn. Buckle up for a double cut. Okay, so now you might say, well, so what? You gotta scrape the deck. Yeah pretty much every single time you use it. And a handful of times it was so bad that I actually had to mow the front yard, scrape the deck, and previously had to refill the fuel tank, and then mow the backyard, and then scrape again. And all those clippings didn't get recycled back into the lawn. They got recycled into the trash. Or my composter, which filled up pretty quick. So when I use the Turo Time Master, I usually save about 15 minutes of cutting time versus using a 21 inch mower. But when I'm done, I have to spend about 10 to 15 minutes cleaning it out every time. So am I saving time? Nope. And if you think that little piddly hose out system on the side does a good job, think again. You're gonna have a green globby mess all over your driveway. Remember how I said that there's a special tool that Toro Time Master owners are buying earlier in the video? Well, here it is. It's a 21 inch mower. Why you might ask? Because during the heavy growth months, these mowers can actually handle the turf better, clogging up less and less of a need for double cutting. You have to ask yourself, would you rather mow a few extra passes with a narrower mower or clean the deck out multiple times during your mow? I do see a lot of pictures of Toro Time Masters next to their other mowers. And these owners, they get it. They know something will eventually break. And during that time, they still have a backup. Why am I getting the feeling that I'm gonna get booted from the Toro Time Master owners group on Facebook for making this video? Now I know that this may have came across a little negative, but there are several reasons that I like this machine. When the lawn is dry here in the summertime, this mower absolutely flies. And if you have to get the lawn mowed quick during the week, a wider deck can help. And if you wanna get three extra horsepower, you can paint your wheels black. That apparently is something everybody's talking about. Don't forget to give me one of these and be sure to check out more cool garage gear videos right here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the garage.